hello student today we are going to complete the next topic that is reforming what is the meaning of reforming structure modifications of molecules to improve anti knocking character of gasoline is called reforming in this reforming open chain hydrocarbon converted into closed chain or branch chain hydrocarbons this reforming is of two type thermal reforming and catalytic reforming first we have to know the difference between thermal reforming and catalytic reforming thermal reforming the reforming which is carried out in the presence of temperature is called the thermal reforming while the reforming carried out in the presence of catalyst is called catalytic reforming the catalyst which we are using in this catalytic reforming is platinum supported on alumina now the temperature condition in thermal reforming is 500 to 600 degree centigrade while in catalytic reforming it is 460 to 530 degree centigrade uh, some lesser conditions are use of the temperature in this because of presence of catalyst the pressure which is used in thermal reforming is 84.5 kg per cm2 while the pressure conditions are also reduced in catalytic reforming it is 35 to 50 kg per cm2 the product formed in the thermal reforming are cyclic branched and aromatic compounds with the better antinoc character while in the catalytic reforming the products are formed are better quality and quantity of the gasoline uh, rather than the thermal reforming first we are doing thermal reforming what is thermal reforming as we uh, already discussed in differentiate form and the reforming which is carried out in the presence of temperature is called the thermal reforming this is the apparatus which is which we are using for thermal reforming state run gasoline is fed here as a feed stock when it is passes to the heater the temperature of the feed uh, heater is 500 to 600 degree centigrade and the pressure is maintained 84.5 kg per cm2 this state run gasoline when passes to the a heater and that pressure 84.5 kg per cm2 the gas which is produced uh, is passes quench uh, quench through the spray of cold oil in the quencher when it is quench uh, in quencher it is uh, cooled down it is passes to the fractionating column where the residue oil is collected in the stopper and the rest of uh, fractions are collected Uh, in the fractionating column after they are passes to the stabilizer where they are collected uncondensed gases are collected from the top of the stabilizer while the reformed gasoline is collected from the bottom of this stabilizer this is over about thermal reforming we are doing catalytic reforming what is the meaning of catalytic catalytic reforming catalytic reforming is the reforming which is carried out in the presence of catalyst right the catalyst which we are using here is a platinum supported on alumina is used as a catalyst this is the figure in which we are doing uh, uh, catalytic reforming fixed bed uh, platform process platforming process is also known as catalytic reforming here the gasoline feed stock is a uh, first feed in the fractionator where fractionator uh, here the residue of water and oxygen is separated from this gasoline because of uh, and low boiling fractions are also separated here this uh, low boiling fractions are further uh, further uh, further goes to the heater and this uh, low boiling components are removed from uh, the oxygen and water is removed from this low boiling component because uh, to avoid the explosion reaction with the hydrogen because in the next step this fraction which are produced here at the temperature 100 and 190 degree centigrade are hydrogenated or compressed with the hydrogen at the temperature 500 degree centigrade and the um, uh, the pressure Uh, and the pressure to compress at the 25 atm pressure after that they are passes to the after hydrogen uh, hydrogenation they are passes to the uh, catalytic chambers or catalytic beds they are the series of three catalytic beds 1 2 and 3 in this catalytic bed uh, platinum supported on alumina is placed 
uh, this is endothermic reaction therefore the temperature of the reaction mixture reduced uh, therefore uh, when we are passing from one chamber to the another 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 chamber to the next chamber we have to passes through a heater at the 500 degree centigrade to maintain the temperature after uh, this catalytic bat when we are passing this gasoline feed to uh, this is converted into a uh, lower mole uh, molecular weight alkene and alkene and aromatic hydrocarbons uh, the mixture of this components are passes through the condenser where h2 and h2s are removed h2s uh, here the dea this is a diethanol amine scrubbing is there which remove the h2s and the rest of hydrogen which is uh, collected here is for the recycle for the hydrogenation for uh, hydrogenation for the gasoline feed stock or low boiling fraction hydrogenation here the condens uh, after condenser they are passes to the here the solvent are recover and the gases which are uh, formed here are passes to the fractionator fractionating column where gases uncondensed gases are collected from the top of the fractionating column and the reformed gasoline is collected from here which is also known as platformates the main reactions that are carried out in the reforming process are dehydrogenation dehydrocyclization hydrocracking and isomerization we'll go one by one dehydrogenation according to its name hydrogen eliminated from this reaction is called dehydrogenation first we are taking the example of cyclohexane ch2 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 are six ch2 are present in the ring form when we are doing dehydrogenation three h2 molecules are removed here and this cyclic compound uh, con cycle cycloalkane is converted into the aromatic compound benzene after elimination of 3h2 another example we are taking the methyl cyclohexane which is converted into the toluene after elimination of 3h2 molecule the next reaction this is the uh, dehydro uh, dehydrogenation in which hydrogen molecule eliminated dehydrocyclization in which uh, elimination of hydrogen uh, takes place as well as the molecule are cyclized and happen will start from and happen this is a seven membered straight chain after uh, dehydrogenation it is converted into cyclic compound after de further dehydrogenation it is converted into aromatic compound that is toluene or uh, cyclization occurs in these two steps this is called dehydrocyclization next is a hydrocracking when we are taking the example of 8 9 10 decane when decane is hydro crack, uh, hydro cracking is done of decane in the presence of platinum catalyst it is converted into the two molecule of n pentane this is the another reaction which is uh, um, which is carried out in the presence uh, in the process of reforming next is iso merization isomerization that means there is a structural modification in the compound this is an n hexane six membered straight chain compound in the presence of alcl3 and hcl aluminum trichloride in, uh, and hcl presence of this catalyst it is converted into the branched compound this is the uh, this is the branch compound of five member ring two methyl pentane here it is a six member straight chain here it is the five membered branch chain two methyl pentane two methyl pentane another example if you are taking n octane that is a straight chain eight membered ring uh, which is also isomerized in the presence of alcl3 and converted into isooctane or you can say two two four trimethyl 2 2 4 trimethyl 1 2 3 4 5 pentane 2 2 2 2 4 trimethyl pentane thank you